so like if we go to the party tonight, then we'll probably be able to have a Oh, oh wait. Here is that? <laughs> yeah, he said it's at the farm. Okay. Should I ask what time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I just saw a crash on Hillsborough Road. Okay. Where's that on Hillsborough Road? I I'm not sure, man. Okay, your phone shows you're in front of the high school. Are you at 810 Hillsborough Road? What you just witnessed was the dramatic aftermath of a crash that was avoidable. Every text you receive, or when you go to send a text, takes your eyes off the road for four and a half seconds. This is the kind of tragedy that can happen in four and a half seconds. In this scenario, the driver was unaware that the vehicle in front of her had stopped and went to send a text. The occupants of the stopped vehicle were harnessed in and survived. The individual who was not wearing the seatbelt would have been ejected and died. Make sure you always wear your seatbelt. Sending or receiving a text message, not only is it illegal, but it's just unsafe. More than 3,000 people lost their lives in 2011 from accidents that were directly related to receiving or sending texts. Let's think in for just a second. I think your school has 1,800. So almost twice the population of, of your school lost their lives because of texting and driving. We don't want that to happen to any of you. This is a message that I'd like you to take home and share with your parents, your siblings, your neighbors, your friends. It, it takes just a split second and it's, it's completely avoidable. And what we want you to do is have a great time at your prom, but have it be a great memory for you and everyone involved. So please, heed our warning, don't text, don't drink, be buckled in, and be responsible, and be safe. It opened my eyes like when, I, when he said the only person that didn't have the seatbelt in the car was the, was the only fatality in the whole accident, so that was real opener. Do you just I have cut I have cut down on the text and driving. One of my friends uh, recently got in a car wreck and he and uh, he didn't have his seatbelt on either. He uh, he ended up going through the windshield oh. and uh, he uh, he had a he had a lot of facial injury. He had to have uh, some facial reconstruction and everything. So after that happened, uh, me and a lot of other my friends they started uh, trying to put put on the seatbelt, stop stop trying to text as much. I, I think it's good for everybody to see like a real life situation of what actually goes on in an accident. It's been like like I said, it's been like reiterated to us many, like over and over again, and like obviously teenagers like first time brush it off, but like after like the speaker comes in and this like whole deal, like I think that it'll get through to people.